What's up everybody? It's Wick here. I got a pretty big garage sale haul this week. Big for me anyway. Uh, there was a lot of community sales this weekend, like four in four different cities. There's no way I could hit them all. So I tried to hit uh, what I could and uh, ended up doing pretty good I think. Let me start with these amazing page books. Actually, I don't know what kind of books they are. I didn't know what kind of books they are. I bought them. I'm just an idiot. Uh, I've seen this one. It was a quarter. It's a scrapbooking book. Has a CD with it. Pretty much new condition. Did not scan it. Just bought it. I'm like, man, this has got to be worth money. It's not. It's like six dollars new with the CD. So... <sighs> Uh, I'll probably end up garage selling this when I have my garage sale to get rid of leftover inventory. So that was disappointing. Uh, this one, however, 50 cents, did not scan it, and it sells for 50 bucks. So I should make about $35 off that one. It's some sort of. Um, I don't know. OM4, whatever that is, some student book. Throw that on the floor. And then an, another sale, I got a bunch of uh, car manuals for 50 cents a piece. Uh, I got uh, this one, which is worth mm, not much at all. Probably won't even, I'll probably lot the ones that aren't worth much and try to get like maybe $10 profit out of them. Uh, this one, not worth much. Again, I paid 50 cents for these. Not worth much. Not worth much. Uh, Harley Davidson, worth $75. So yeah, I made up for all the others. I did not check any of these before buying them. You know, I, I don't really do that at garage sales. I try to just use instinct. Sometimes it pays off. If, it, if a book's a quarter, 50 cents, I think it's worth something. I'll just drop the money. Because, you know, you can make 50 cents. I could ship these in and double my money easily, but it, you know, is it worth it? Probably, actually, because I'd probably make like a dollar or two on each one of these. So I mean, it'd be like four times my money. So I guess in a way, it is. It's just not not good money, I guess you would say. Uh, but yeah, like 75 dollars used. This is in good shape. I thought the pages were tore. It turns out it's just printed out printed out stuff that was shoved in here too. So. Uh, should, after fees, I don't know if I'll do merchant or ship it in, I'm just going to say $45, I'll, I'm sure I'll make off of this. Uh, another one, this wasn't at the same sale, it was a dollar, there's no way I could pay a dollar for uh, car manuals after <laughs> paying 50 cents a quarter for these other books, so I'm like, 50 cent? And she was like, sure. So this one I'll make like eight or nine dollars on. So fifty cents into eight or nine dollars, I'll do that all the time. Uh, real quick, this I probably won't sell. I paid uh, fifty cents for it. We're not getting any focusing going on here. That's for sure. Whoa! Wow, I really hate this camera. Anyway, you can you can pretty much see it here. It's a uh, there's a Marvel plaque has Sabretooth and Wolverine on it. It was fifty cents. I'll probably hang it on my wall. I could probably get ten bucks for it on eBay. Not profit. Ten bucks, sell it. Maybe you know six six dollars profit in the end after fees. But I just hang it on my wall. I thought it was neat. Uh. I seen two of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Seen two of these Wilton cake pans. Uh, this one's from 1980. It's Happy Birthday. This one's like $25 on Amazon. Right now I have it up to do Merchant Fulfill. I'm probably not going to do FBA. But uh, this is a dollar I got for 50 cents. Sit that there. Another one was 50 cents. This is 1979 Butterfly. Looks like it has a little bit of damage, but I can't tell if it's... If so, it's really clean damage. 
anyway, this one sells for about 20 that's also on Merchant Fulfilled, so between the both of them, I, I would say I'd make $20 profit in the end, for a dollar, so, definitely not bad there. Uh, these, Gremlin figures, I did not have a price, I asked, hey, how much for these, she's like three bucks, I set them back down, and like, made a grunting noise, she's like, Oh, it's missing one. How about a dollar? I'm like, mm, okay. I just think they're awesome. You know, I'm all about, this is my time period growing up. I, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, I did not know if they're worth anything. I knew they were probably worth more than a dollar. Uh, Gizmo here sells for, also labeled 1984. Gizmo sells for about $10, 10 to 15 on eBay, depending on the auction. Um, I'm getting into Etsy. So I might actually put these on Etsy. The fees are cheaper. I'm doing some tests with Etsy now to see if I like it, if it seems to be worth my time. The other figure, too, I'm sure I could get uh, $10 as well. So, probably won't bundle them together because I doubt people will pay $20 for two, but when someone just pays $9.99 for a figure, it's not, they don't think about it as much as if they would pay $20 for two. So, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably keep these, honestly, but if I do sell them, definitely after fees and everything, $15 profit. So, also, I got this cat. I figured I'd try some lowball items on Etsy. Uh, the cat is, was five cents. I'm trying to go for more unique stuff for Etsy, stuff that people collect. I paid way too much for these, I'll tell you right now. I paid for three dollars for this Ohio. It's salt and pepper shakers. She had a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Uh, there's some squirrels that hang on a tree. It says Ohio on it. So those I'll probably uh, let me turn on this other uh, umbrella light. Seems like maybe I'm not getting enough light. <clears throat> but Ohio squirrels I paid three bucks for them. I'm probably going to try to sell them for 15 on Etsy. Etsy fees are like 3.5%. Cost 20 cents to list for 4 months. So it makes it a little more uh, cost effective to list things and take more of a risk on uh, unique vintage stuff like this. So I'm going to list about 10, 15 items and then I'm just going to let it sit and see what happens with Etsy. See if I get sales, views, all that stuff. These, these are sweet actually. They are uh, Little pig salt and pepper shakers are marked. Uh, well, this one must be the other one. Has a number. Haven't looked them up yet. Marked uh, Japan, made in Japan or something somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. But I paid two dollars for those, and I'm probably going to list them for about fifteen. So between the two things and the cat that I bought for to try out with some Etsy, Etsy sales uh, I would say seven five uh, thirteen uh, twenty dollars profit I'll just say just I don't want to deal with spend too much time selling Etsy stuff because you gotta list it just to make five dollars per item it's just kind of filler to help, you know, pay bills and stuff. So, if it if the stuff sells good, I'll, I'll keep buying it. I, mean, I don't mind, you know, I can list four things an hour, make $20 an hour. I'm fine with that. Uh, games for the community sale. Hitman 2 for a dollar, going in the collection. I don't collect Xbox 360, so I bought these to resell. Uh, Diablo, one of my favorite games, uh, XCOM, Enemy Within, Bully, Scholarship Edition, uh, I just, I didn't look these up, I, I just, I'm pretty knowledgeable at video games, I knew which ones would give me a profit by doing FBA, surprisingly I've seen Grand Theft Auto 5, which is a pretty new game, 
and this is this is one I'll get twenty five dollars for used. That's profit, I believe. It might not be profit. Yeah, it's profit. Cause I think it sells for thirty some dollars. I mean, it was twenty profit. I'm not sure, but I'll add up the games and put the total in the corner there. So always good when I find video games, even if I'm not. Uh, they're not collectible ones. Because uh, you can sell them and make uh, good money. Uh, I got this for five bucks. I thought it said three. But it, it was five. I noticed when I went to pay for it. I'm like, ooh, is that five? Also, this guy told me he had like 50 Super Nintendo games. But he wasn't selling any. So I was very disappointed about that. Because I always ask. Every garage sale, hey, do you have any older video games you want to sell? And that's how I found my best stuff for my collection, is people just going in their house or saying, oh, I got my friend here. You know, they have a bunch of stuff they want to get rid of, or oh, I got some stuff in my apartment, I'll bring it over later or something, you know. So I always ask, you, you just got to. I suggest anyone out, your hobbies, always, you know, ask about that stuff that you know you can make money on. Mine just happens to be video games. But this is a Hard Rock uh, Hotel Hoodie San Diego. Uh, it's pretty good quality for a hoodie, I guess. It's official, extra large. Uh, I'm sure I can sell it for 20. I'm gonna probably try to sell it for 40. Probably not gonna list it on eBay until uh, this fall, there's no point in trying to sell it now. Summer just hit and it's a waste of my time. Should, right when fall hits, people's looking for new hoodies, I should be able to get 40 bucks for it. So I'll say uh, $30 profit. Well, I guess it would be more like $25 profit after fees and everything. So I'll just estimate it a little lower, say 25 Uh, I think we're at the puzzles and games. Oh, this. Going in the collection, well, actually I have a Super Mario World, but, uh, so I'll probably sell one, or just keep it to trade. Either way, these were a quarter. This was at a garage sale, I didn't, wasn't even on my list. Uh, I was just across the street from another garage sale. I walked up, this was later in the day too, it's like, you don't expect to find stuff this late. I walk up, and they're just sitting there chilling. Mint condition, a uh, table, a quarter piece. I pick them up. I'm super excited. I ask if they have any more. They're just like, nope. They seem annoyed that I asked, but I'm like, I paid her and was happy. Uh, this one's worth. This one sells for ten. And this one, probably more on Amazon. I looked this up on Amazon because I was gonna sell it. Uh, it sells for like thirty bucks. So pretty good. Man, this video is going long. How do I? How do these videos go so long? I'm just gonna add the price of all these together and let you know. Um, these I actually scanned at a garage sale because I wanted to make sure there's a bunch of sealed puzzles and stuff. So a dollar for this cat puzzle. I think I'll make like five dollars on that one. Uh, senior moments. I think I'll make ten dollars on this game. I paid two dollars for that. I paid a dollar for the puzzle there. Cranium seal. This one's actually was forty-five dollars selling for. Has very slight wrap damage. Still gonna try to sell it new. We'll see why I'm gonna be too upset if they got it with a little bit of wrap damage. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I think uh, it's like twenty-five dollars, something like that profit. This game has a ridiculously good rank. I paid uh, three dollars for it. I'll make. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, throat gets so dry talking like this. I think I was make like five dollars. It's just something real cheap to send in. Might as well. It's gonna sell like instantly. Another puzzle. I don't remember. It's probably like ten dollars. This puzzle was like fifteen maybe. It was a uh, nicer puzzle. And then, uh, cats, cats, cats. There's cats everywhere. I don't remember how much that one was. None of these were worth a whole lot. It was just enough to at least 
double my money, and almost all of them were more than double my money. But uh, is that it? Yeah, I'm interested to add all this up just to see how much I, I'm gonna make. Oh, that is not all there is. Crap, because I I stopped in uh, Lowe's and I got a ridiculous haul. I'm sorry, this video is gonna be long, but uh. <laughs> Here, let me show you real quick what I got. Nothing super exciting. I've already packed it away. I'm getting ready to do another shipment. But I found all this stuff. Can't believe I forgot about these. This, this is, I don't even know why that's in there. Uh, I have some stuff in there that's actually, I was just storing. Ignore the uh, bamboo benders and crap. But I got a lot of these filters. They're all clearance. I pay like $3 for them, a lot of them are selling for $25. I think the box below this is filled with filters and um, all kinds of stuff like that. And then these over here, I got Brita. This was like $45 or something on Amazon. I got it for $4.90. Uh, a couple more pictures, $3.20 selling for $20 not focusing there we go but I spent $179 on all of it and I stand to make 475 to $500 so I'm just gonna say 475 to be conservative um, so yeah that's a great all this stuff too has got good ranks except for maybe one product has like a, a little bit higher but still a, a, a rank I would not you know refuse <coughs> but uh Thanks everybody for watching. Um, totals up in the corner. Uh, please subscribe if you if you're just now watching the videos. Uh, like it, comment, just uh, support me. It, it, I like doing these videos. I uh, I just need motivation sometimes. And when I see people subscribing and they're commenting and. You know, if you like the video, then it's like, oh, okay, I'm not wasting my time. I'd probably still do these anyway because I like to go back and see what... This is sort of like a log of my thrifting, and it's just kind of like a diary or something. So for me personally, I'm going to keep doing them even if you don't like them. But uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.